Would you like to make your brain stronger? Hi, I'm Bernice Hunt and I am a brain health specialist. I work with women just like you who are starting to notice a few memory challenges and I help you to stay sharp so that as you age, you can still travel, have fun with your grandkids and experience new adventures without missing a beat. As a wellness coach for over 12 years, I'm all about giving those muscles a workout. And as a brain coach, I'm also all about giving your brain a workout. Now with kids, that's happening all the time in school and as their minds are developing and growing, we don't really have to worry about their brains getting a workout. But with adults, hmm, may not be happening as much. Did you catch my last video? I did a video a few days ago on neurobics. Neurobics is a word that comes from two different words, neurons and aerobics. You put it together to make the word neurobics and it's about exercising your brain by doing things that you ordinarily do in a different way. So doing the same things in an unusual way. And it's the video that I did a few days ago is still on my Facebook page and my YouTube channel. So you can go there and take a look at it at you want and get more ideas about exactly what neurobics is. But today I wanted to talk about why should you even bother in your brain as well as give you some other activities that you can do that will give your brain a workout. So studies show that there are specific activities that will improve your memory, that will slow cognitive decline, that will help you grow new brain cells, and that will your cognitive reserve. So those are things that you should be doing. Okay, so talked about neurobics a little bit, and it's in the other video, but I just wanted to say that neurobics is highly recommended for several reasons. One, it's free. The possibilities, things you can do are, are practically endless. You can do it anytime, anywhere, and it's great fun. They, the things you do can really be can also be fun. So if you want to know more about that, like the video, and that'll tell you more about neurobics. But there are a lot of other ones, like I said. Let's talk about the one that's most commonly known, and that's our brain games. You know, we know about crossword puzzles, we know about jigsaw puzzles, we know about Sudoku, we know about word search, and there's a lot of brain apps on your phones and things now where you do those brain games, and those are very, very common. Usually that's what we think of when we talk about exercising our brain, and that's fine because those things, you know, do have their place, but they're not the only kind of exercises you should be doing for your brain. Those things do improve your processing speed, how quickly you can process those things and also specific skills but it's kind of like if you were lifting weights and you only would lift weights on your left arm okay that's great your left arm will get strong toned up really really good but what about your right arm and what about your legs what about your abdomen your core there are other places that need that exercise as well and the same thing is true with your brain that's fine to do those brain games and things and those do have their place but there are other sections of your brain that need exercising too that's why you need to know about some of these other activities so brain games are definitely one of them well, let's talk about some other ones speaking of exercise aerobic exercise is a great thing for your brain especially if we're talking about running or cycling are swimming, those kind of aerobic exercises strengthen your connections that are in your brain. And experts tell us that aerobic exercise is like fertilizer for your brain. It spikes it up and helps it, accelerates it to growing more new brain cells. We want them growing and they're always growing, but we want to get that pace going so there's a lot more of them coming up, spraying it up here and there and everywhere. And aerobic exercise will do that for you. So it's a great thing to do for giving your brain actually a workout. But all the activities don't have to be fast paced like that. Tai Chi is another excellent form that will give your brain a workout and it's slow moving and continuous. And what it does is it relaxes, it brings improves your relaxation and also your balance 
and your flexibility. And you know, as we age, we need to have our balance and our flexibility on point. Okay, so Tai Chi is one kind of exercise that will do that. And then we also have mental stimulation. You know, when you were in school, I hope on you that you should always be a and painting and doing different arts and crafts. We're talking about playing an instrument. Even gardening is a great workout for your brain, okay? Lastly, I want to talk to you about staying socially active. There was a study at USC, actually, I think it was. There was a study where they found that being physically and socially active as you age helped you retain better memory than the people that weren't doing those social and physically active and social things. So as you age, stay interactive, stay socially active with other people. That's talking about simply having conversations, getting on the phone and talking to people or going out and talking to people, being parts of clubs or organizations or, or the choir, somewhere where you're out and you're talking to people, volunteering yourself and which puts you around other people, tutoring your own kids, your grandkids, or somebody else's kid, tutoring somebody, you know, to give them your expertise on that and helping that, that actually also helps your brain. Okay, so those kind of traveling, then we'll leave that out. Traveling is also a to stimulate your brain. You're getting all this in from your the things you touch and things you see. It's a great input and it strengthens your brain. So the bottom line is challenge your brain in some way every day. Okay? A lot of it will not even cost you any money, but your brain will be better for it and it will help your brain stay better longer. And that's what we want, guys. Okay, so if you guys want to know, want to continue learning about your brain and getting information on a, on a regular basis and things, I now have a system, a texting system. So you can subscribe to Keep Your Brain Sharp Text. And from time to time, I will send you great information and tips about your brain. I hope you join us. I hope you subscribe. It's free. So there's no reason not to, guys, because your brain's is in your hands. I'll leave the link for you so you can do that if you if you care to.